Hello, I'm Stephanie Reedmiller. I'm a certified aromatherapist here at CAVHS. Um, with summer coming on, I feel like it's a pretty good time to be uh, doing a natural essential oil bug spray repellent. Essential oils I'll be using today will be geranium, sweet fennel, lemon eucalyptus, lavender, and rosemary. Uh, the sweet fennel is really interesting because in studies it's been shown to be just as effective as DEET. And I like the sweet fennel because it smells like licorice. The only problem with sweet fennel is you have to be really careful because it can cause some skin sensitivity. So if you have sensitive skin, you want to be careful how much you actually use of the fennel. But it, there's other essential oils that you can use for bug spray, but these are the ones that I choose. A lot of it is fragrance. If you like the, the smell of it, you're not going to scare your friends off with it. So. Like I said, these are the ones that I use, and I use them, my husband and I fish all the time, so I use them on our boat when we fish. So what I've done today is I have a one ounce bottle. Preferably you want to use one that is dark in color because the essential oils are light sensitive. So you want to make sure that, usually you want to use one that's uh, darker in color to preserve the essential oil and to make them last longer. So I filled my one ounce bottle with distilled water and with a splash of uh, rubbing alcohol. You can use pure grain alcohol. You can use witch hazel. Those are other options that you can use. You can even use any t type of vodka that you would like to use. The alcohol will serve as the emulsifier, which will keep the oils kind of separated when you shake them. That way, when you apply the spritzer, you will get a nice even coat of oil and water. We're just gonna go ahead and get started. So like I said, I have about 0.75 ounce of distilled water and about 0.10 ounce of witch hazel or rubbing alcohol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the geranium. We're gonna put three drops of geranium in it. You don't have to shake essential oils. It may take a minute, but they will eventually come out. So three drops of geranium. Then we go to the sweet fennel. I'm gonna use three drops of sweet fennel. Woo. Lemon eucalyptus. I'm gonna use two drops of that. So there's lemon eucalyptus. Then we're gonna use the lavender. We're gonna do two drops of lavender. You can add more lavender if you like the smell of lavender. Uh, you just want to keep the drops about the same, so you may cut back on maybe a geranium and add to a lavender. It's really just whatever you prefer smell-wise at this point. Uh, you just want to try to keep the, the drops the same. And then we have rosemary. And you're going to put one drop of rosemary. We're going to put the lid on. And before you apply, you want to make sure that you shake it so that the oils and the water and the alcohol mix. You're gonna apply liberally. If you don't wanna apply it to your skin, if you have sensitive skin, like I said, and you're very um, scared to, to actually put this on your skin, you can always spray your clothing or your gear, depending on what you're out doing um, to where you need the bug spray. That's just one of the recipes. I have several other recipes that um, are very good for bug repellent. Several of the uh, other essential oils that you can use for bug repellent citronella, clove, lemongrass, tea tree, cedar, catnip, and mint. You can use those in a combination, just as I did with this. You can change up rosemary and add catnip, or you can uh, just kind of whatever your, your nose prefers at that, at that point. Just make sure you keep the drops about the same. The other thing I want to show you was maybe a roller ball maybe you don't want to spray it on you. The difference between a rollerball and a spray is you're going to use fractionated coconut oil in the rollerball. So you're going to fill this three-fourths of the way up with coconut oil. Then you're going to add the same amount of drops to this. You're going to put your stopper back on, shake it up before you use it, and then you're just going to apply liberally wherever you need to. 
If putting things on your skin is not something that you want to do, you can always make a bracelet with lava beads and mix up your essential oils without any of the fractionated coconut oil, the distilled water, and you can always drop them on the beads and put them on your wrist. But those are just some options that you have for a more natural way to keep the mosquitoes away or the, the gnats. Um, they're great. Some of them are really great for pets. You have to be really careful what you use with your animals because they are very sensitive to it. But these are just some options that you can use for natural bug spray this summer. Take care. Be safe.